Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in this video we are going to discuss about HPA, Horizontal Pod at Water Scaling. Let's understand what is HPA. The HPA is a control loop that continuously monitors the resource usage, means CPU and memory, of your application and automatically adjusts the number of replicas to maintain the desired level of utilization. It means that CPU usage or a number of requests per second monitored by the HPA and you can then deploy a HPA and specify the target deployment or a replica that you want to scale. So let's take an example. You have deployed your application and suddenly the uh, user load is increased and now as you know the Kubernetes is main feature is high scaling and high availability. Now you want to increase your replica of your application. Now you can't manually monitor a CPU and memory utilization and increase or scale your application. So to solve that problem, to automate the increase of your uh, application replica, HPA is there. Now how to configure the HPA, we can discuss in the demo section. So let's jump into the demo. So let me open the lens. Now in the last video, we have deployed the voting application. And it looks like this. You can vote the application. Now what I will do, here you can see right now currently the replica of voting application is one. Only one replica, right? Let me filter it. Okay. Now suddenly the user base is increased for this application. And here you can see the replica count is one only. The replica is one. Let me go to the replica set and and here you can also see there is only one desired, one current and one ready state. So let me remove everything first. Okay. Now what I will do, I will create a HPA. So go to the HPA horizontal for auto scaling. And uh, here what I did, I already create the definition of the file. So this is for CPU. So as you know, to create any YAML file for Kubernetes, four parameters are required, API version, kind, metadata, and spec. So API version, auto scaling, V2 beta one, kind, horizontal, pod, auto scaler, metadata, let's give the name, CPU HPA, namespace is default. And what I did here to scale target, scale target reference. So kind is deployment. So I want to target this deployment file. Okay. This deployment file. Uh, name is vote deployment. So I'm giving the name new deployment and API, uh, API version it apps.v1. So f slash v1. Min replica and max replica. So here I want to uh, give the maximum replica count. So in case let's say CPU utilization and memory utilization increase. How many times I want to replicate my applications that count you want to mention here. So let me add here. So let's say max replica count is five and what metrics I want to measure. So here type is resource resource name is CPU and the target average utilization is 50%. So let me reduce because the development machine to 220%. Similarly for the RAM. So all other parameters are same except this one matrix type is resource resource name is memory. And the target average utilization, let me reduce up to 20. And let me also change the max replica count is equal to 5. So now let me deploy this object into Kubernetes. Okay, let me go to the HPA. Now here you can see right now the matrix is unknown. And uh, we have set the utilization is 20%. So let me increase the load of my application. Okay, now here you can see the I think we have set 20%. That's why it is automatically created. Here you can see now the pod is 5, replica is 5. So what I will do, let me change the HPA limit. So let me go to the 50% here and here let me 
okay here 20 percent is okay cpu so now let me change again go to the deployment and let me reduce the replica count one okay i think 50 percent is also not good okay so let me change the memory count here so what is memory utilization here 470 470 mb okay okay so let me change it let's wait okay so now here you can see only we have one boot deployment application and we have set the limit right so ram is 50 percent utilization and cpu utilization is 20 percent if it is cross this threshold value it will increase the replica of my applications so now let me increase the application load and we can check the utilization so now here you can see if the utilization increase it will automatically create the application count so now it will create how many five because we have set the five let me go here so we have set the maximum five so it is creating the five replica of our application similarly if you increase the load of cpu it will create the five replica of your application so this is way you can achieve a high scaling using automatic way thanks for watching see you in the next video